Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating Fortnite to the latest chapter, which is chapter 3. So down here below is Fortnite. We can just press our options key on our control. From here, we can just go ahead and check for any updates. So that's our third option, check for updates. Right now, we should see this. So go to downloads and there it is. It's downloading. So the latest one, if I click on it, it's going to say 3.9 gigs. And yes, yeah, Spider-Man's coming up. So right now I could get out of this screen, it doesn't really matter, I'm not stopping anything. You can also try to run Fortnite and you should do the update. So I'm going to run it and it's going to take me here. Do not ever ever try to start the application without updating it. Now the reason why you shouldn't do that is because it's just not going to work and you might glitch it a little bit. You can still go back to it anyways. Now let's say you guys are stuck at anywhere here, whether it's downloading the file or installing the file. It doesn't really matter where you're stuck, just restart your PlayStation. So fully shut it down, open it up again, and everything should be okay. If you still have problems, the very last thing that you can do is actually deleting Fortnite and then re-downloading it again. Does deleting Fortnite delete your skins and everything in your account? No. Your account is online, not inside your PlayStation, not inside your console. So that's why if you go into any other console, that is. So if I go into my Nintendo, Xbox, if I go into literally anywhere else, I can log into my account. I'm going to see my skins there. That's because everything is in my account. It's not in the console in which I am playing. So once again, the skins and everything else is not saved inside the console where I'm playing. It's saved online. And that's why, again, if I go anywhere else, I can log into my account and I can see my skins there and use them. The only thing that you do need to remember is your password. If you forgot your password, I do have a video that shows you how to reset your password. But other than that, this should be going pretty fast for you guys. If you want this to go faster, just hook up your PlayStation directly to your router using an Ethernet cable. That will make things go a lot faster for most of you. Other than that, this is basically 4 gigs, so you're going to have to wait a few minutes for this download. So once again, during the update, you do not want to unplug your PlayStation. You don't want to run anything else. If you still see that you're stuck for some reason, there might be other games downloading as well. So just stop those downloads. And stop any other games from installing at the same time as Fortnite because those do get in the way. All right, next up, we will see this copying updated file. This always happens when we ever run any updates. Now, again, this is the part where some people get stuck at certain points, whether it's 0%, even 100%, and you might not be moving from there. I could actually get stuck at the 16, 17%. It doesn't really matter where. What the fix is restarting your PlayStation. Then even if you, let's say, were 100% and it wasn't moving from there, it might drop down all the way to 10 or even 0%. But at this time, you will see that it actually does go up slowly until it's actually done. The glitch of where you saw it being stuck at 100% is the fact that it was glitched. So that's why it's good to restart it if you ever get stuck at any point in time. Now usually if you're running Xbox or anything else, I would say just turn off automatic updates and then turn them back on later on. But generally speaking, stopping any other type of updates from happening is very important. Would also like to mention if you haven't updated your PlayStation by now, make sure to update that first before updating Fortnite. Once the update's done, it's just gonna try to run Fortnite. At this point, we can just log in. So we're just gonna start up, and that's it. So automatically, it's just gonna log in. You don't guys don't have to actually do anything. It's just gonna run through the normal process of logging into Chapter Three. Right now, we should see a screen like so. 